I'm actually glad to hear deputies raising about West Dublin because uh, it just is a bit mystifying that when transport is being planned, the areas that have grown in population, as have already been outlined, are completely left bereft. Now, I'm absolutely delighted, by the way, about Metrolink to Swords, because Swords is a hugely growing area as well. But I feel that it's been done more to uh, make it easier for people to get to and from the airport rather than for the people who live in Fingal. But that's fine, that's important. But if we want to take cars off the road on a daily, daily basis, we actually have to plan transport for you know, the suburbs. Um, so the south side has been dropped, but maybe you'd consider now thinking of West Dublin. Um, there was a plan for Metro West, I mentioned this briefly when I was on Fingal County Council, and we agreed, or the councillors agreed on the council, to rezone Kellystown, to rezone, you know, Barn Hill, to rezone huge tracts of land for development on the basis of Metro West. Now, uh, Hansfield SDZ has been mentioned, which has been thrown up a pace. Now, we want housing, absolutely, but there's no point in, um, you know, planning to build in the outer parts of Dublin, and we're talking basically on the border with Meath, uh, without providing transport. I was talking to Mr Cregan at the, the Bus Connects in Blanchardstown, and I made this point that we actually need a Lewis to Blanchardstown. Like, this is not rocket science. If you're more than eight miles out of the city, you can't be just purely reliant on buses. You know, actually, you need light rail to really get people to and from places very fast. Um, and I, I know uh, Mr Cregan argued that, well, we have this rail line that goes. The rail line doesn't go to where the population has actually increased. People in Mulhuddard, people in Tyrrellstown, people in... Uh, you know, parts of Ongar, can't get access to the rail line. And anyway, it's not frequent enough. I know it will be electrified at some point, and I, I welcome that, but it still won't cater for. For example, I, w I've designed or we've designed a proposal to extend the Lewis to, to Dublin 15 from Broombridge. That would be actually a very low-density route, which would be quite, you know, relatively cheap to, to, to do. So you would be going from Broombridge to Connolly Hospital, uh, to IT Blanchardstown and to the Blanchardstown Centre. Um, and the costing of that, based on study and other uh, metro or you know, light rail designs, will be roughly speaking about uh, 45 million a kilometre or 315 million if you took that as a phase one. For, but we also have an additional problem that's bringing traffic into Blanchardstown. Okay, a good problem, but still a problem if you live there, is the fact that we have huge industrial parks. And we all welcome the fact that there's more jobs and multinationals, etc., setting up. But there's 20 or 30,000 people working in Ballycoolin and in all of these industrial parks, and they've no other way to get there except by driving. Um, and if you look at the, the, it's complete gridlock now with the recovery in the economy. And it doesn't seem to me that there's any onus on the companies that are setting up to make any additional contribution. For example, could there be a rates increase to pay for? Uh, a light rail system on top companies that are based there. Uh, so if you extend it from the shopping centre to Ballycoolin, for example, that would be another huge uh, relief for uh, thousands of people. And you could then look at a third phase to Little Pace, Ongar. And uh, again, you know, th this might sound like a lot of money, but actually there's a huge amount of uh, rates being paid in that area and a huge amount of taxes being paid um, and if we want to really get people out of cars in terms of climate change, I think that this is what's needed. Um, you've already mentioned in your submission that 67% of public transport journeys are by bus. We do need more light rail to, for the capacity. And I'll just finish with um, the bus connects. We've already spoken on this a lot, and one of the major problems with it is it was cutting some of the local bus services, or else it was making people make two journeys rather than one. And I wouldn't have a problem with the town centre being turned into a hub for, for a rail link because you're getting lots of people off a little bus onto you know, a, a light rail directly into town, whereas 
the problem with the bus connects was people would be getting off one bus and then fighting to get in another because it just wouldn't be sufficient or hadn't been outlined whether there'd be sufficient increase to take up the slack. So I really would ask the NTA to strongly consider this is a serious proposal. We need a Lewis system for the 110,000 people who live in Greater Blanchardstown. The same applies to other areas, obviously, in West Dublin that were developed in the last 20 years. And it is very sad for people to see, again, Renla, which is just outside the city centre. Why would you need a, a metro to Renla? You know, there'd be just no real need for that. Not in the sense of the same urgency for your eight and ten miles out of the city with, with tens of thousands of people living there. So this is something that I feel is absolutely necessary and we have to campaign for and make it a big issue. Thank you. I just have a few uh, words of wisdom myself. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, 